The sloths of the New World Tropics are some of the strangest looking mammals on the planet. Two species occur in Costa Rica, and the two-toed sloth is most common in the mountains in primary and secondary forest. Sloths may seem slothful, but part of that perception is because they sleep in the day and are active at night. They have a small home range, so don't need to travel far. But if they are attacked, they can pick up the pace. While mostly nocturnal, they sometimes do get about in the day you can see that it's not that slow. And besides, their main defense against predators is that great camouflage. And they can cause damage with those claws and sharp canine-like premolars. Sloths spend the vast majority of their time in the upper levels of the forest and come down only to defecate once a week. That is when they're most vulnerable. The diet of two toad sloths is mostly leaves, but they also feed on flowers, buds, fruits, and twigs. Like many vegetarians, when no one is looking, they eat some meat, usually from insects and small vertebrates. This species of sloth has a crazy long gestation period of 11 and a half months. A single baby nurses for just one month, but stops clinging to mom after five months, all of it quality time. Obviously, those veggie smoothies from mom make for a fast-growing baby. The young may hang around, so to speak, for up to two years. Curiously, females outnumber males and mate very infrequently. Sloths are forest animals, and as the forest has disappeared in Costa Rica, sloths have had a hard time moving around. No longer do trees line the highways in a way that enables wildlife to move around. Another sad price for progress for just one species. But wildlife can sometimes adapt to human transgressions. Like this sloth that used a barbed wire fence to move to a patch of trees and provided tourists with a memorable wildlife moment. Diga whiskey.